What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this upsell cross sell section we just brought out. I think it's a really nice way to add a couple more products to your normal product page and in my case I chose this fin product for surfboards. So you can see here it comes as this block and if you click this one a modal is gonna pop up where it's gonna show you all the different options of the product and I'm gonna show you how you can do that for your very own store. First thing you want to be doing is actually heading on over to the Shopify admin area where you want to be downloading the section store app. You can do that in the Shopify app store. The app itself is completely free. It conti contains over 100 fully customizable components and the one we're going to have a look at today is this one. It's the Upsa Crosser one and like I said already the app itself is completely free but this section does come with a one-time charge of $9 means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever, no hidden subscription fees or anything. So at the end of the day, I'd say it's a pretty good deal because you're not going to need your own developer. You don't have to code anything yourself, but you still have the opportunity to customize everything yourself at the end. All right, sweet. After successfully getting that, we're going to head back to the home area of the app where we want to be adding the section to the theme we were using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. And we're just going to click on that and open it up in the theme editor. I've already done so, so I'm going to save that step. And here I have opened up the product, default product, whatever you want to do with that one. You can put it on every product page or just specific ones where you actually want to choose that specific upsell product. But in my, my case, it's going to be that one. And now I want to actually customize the whole thing. Adding the section is done in one easy step. You just scroll all the way down, click on add section, and then type in upsell, and it should appear right here. Already added this one, and I'm just gonna explain you how it works, cause actually doing it from scratch again would take a bit long. So I'm just gonna show you what is possible with that thing. So the first thing, what you can do is actually changing that headline. Get this as well. So you can see it's updating completely live. The size is changeable as well. Maybe we want to make it a little bit bigger and we can decide at what position the whole thing is going to be. And then we can actually change the content. That's everything inside the thing, but I think that's positioned quite nice already. You can do a lot of padding changes, border thickness. You can see pretty much everything here is changeable. We can even give it a little box shadow, but I'm happy doing it without it. Or maybe let's do a really subtle one. We can also change that. Perfect. Here is the product you actually can put in there. So as you can see, you could easily change the product to any other product in your store. And then you can change some, the gap between the items inside it, the image width. But yeah, I like I said already, it's a lot of stuff you can change here. I'm just gonna Go over it real quick so you can find it out yourself and just get a little overview and at the end of the day you can customize it to your likings. Product heading size is something you can change as well. Maybe we we'll make that a little bit bigger and the line height is changeable as well. The, the product size, the little quick view. Let's do check out or get this so it aligns with that one. All right, that looks good. Then a bunch of other text things you can change right here. And that thing is already regarding the modal. So if we open this up, you can see that. We could say we wanna change that a bit and then we always have to save it up. But you can see all the modal settings are changeable as well. And the last thing I actually want to do is changing the colors of everything right here. As you can see here already, I've done so with a few of those things already. And now I want to get the modal on track as well. So the border hover is something I want to do. I'm gonna put that to purple as well. And here we want to have purple as well. And now I'm actually going to save it all up and have a look at it and see how it's going to look in the live version. So we're going to load everything up as you can see here. All the text is customizable as well the hover text and the button background, for example. I'm gonna choose that for this one and the border color is supposed to be white and on hover, it's gonna be a purple as well. Let's check it out. 
Of course, it's not gonna look perfect. You always have to tweak around a little bit, but I think we're already gonna get a pretty good first impression on what we can actually do with the section. All right, let's give the official one a little reload so we can see it. All right, we got to get this already. And if we open it up, we can see that thing right here. That looks quite nice already. I am happy with that and I hope you are too. And if you are, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And yeah, with that being said, have a good one guys and peace out. I hope you're gonna have fun with this section.